exporting from OPS. I do not need to be the owner of a scheme to export. Any scheme that is shared can be exported. In concept, OPS is a model server, which means that it does not store files, but actually stores data about projects. Any export that's taken to a desktop application is actually built on the fly as the projects are being worked on. That is one of the most powerful features of OPS, to be able to see data live as teams are editing it. So let's go ahead and try and export a few formats here. At the site level, by default, we have Google Earth export, and I can select different color codings to show on Google Earth. So if I select departments, for example, it will take out color-coded spaces to Google Earth. So let's export that. and save it to the desktop. Let's drill down into the building level and see what kind of options we have for exporting. I'll select the building out of these nine buildings. I'll select number seven. The dialog box will open up again with options to export in Google Earth. This time it would be for a single building. Or if I scroll down in format, you'll see other possibilities for export. Let's export an Excel file, which will be a list of all the spaces in that building, in that one building. I'll export that and save that also to the desktop. Or open it directly in Excel. Other options include glazing information, which is about windows, furniture and equipment, space relationship matrices, and IFCs. Let's take an IFC file out. There's options for taking the entire IFC with down to the spaces or selecting only floor slabs, which would create a massing model. Story volume would actually be the massing model for the stories. Let's take an, a space and floor slab IFC file out, which will then be able to open in other BIM applications that can import IFC. So I'll save that IFC file out to the desktop. Close this dialog box. So that was one option for exporting data from the site level. We can also go back to the project level and without opening up the scheme itself, you can actually hit the export button which is to the right over here with a little red arrow pointing up. Click on that and get the same dialog box about exporting different types of data. So I can drill down into different projects and say I'd like to grab the conference center, for example, and export out to Excel. In this way, you can rapidly jump from scheme to scheme and create IFC files of an individual buildings or Google Earth files of entire sites very rapidly across multiple schemes and projects, even from other members of your team or from other teams that are sharing their data to the studio.